Hi, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Adventures. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India. And about a year and a half ago, I did a little bit of a series on uh, Linux for ham radio. I uh, tested out Andy's ham radio Linux. And while that was a great distro, uh, there was something, well, I don't know if it's new or not. There's something I recently discovered in town. Doesn't sound as good as there's something new in town, but um, nonetheless, KM4 ACK, um, the uh, ham that made the build a pie uh, with ham radio apps for the Raspberry Pi, has made the same package for any Debian based Linux. So you can use it on a regular computer and not just the Raspberry Pi, which is in itself a great little computer, but it's not the thing you want to drag portable for ham radio. So um, I found an old laptop. I've installed Mint Linux on it. And uh, I thought we were going to do something together. We're going to set up 73 Linux together and we'll see what happens. So um, with no further ado, let's jump over to the handheld chat cam and I'll show you the computer. And... Here it is. It's just an old HP laptop. It's got an i5. It's got enough RAM. Don't really know the specs on it. But uh, that doesn't really matter because um, we're going to make it work. So um, let's hop on over to the laptop and um, see if we can figure out how to install 73 Linux. And here we are at the uh, laptop here, just running a remote desktop here, so it's easier to, to do a screen capture. And as you can see, I've already done a little bit of Googling for you. I've uh, set up, uh, I've, or set up, I've searched for 73 Linux. So we're gonna click this get up link here and uh, see how to do it. And there's a little bit of information here on 73 Linux. Um, it says um, it's almost like the build a pie. Uh, you have full control over the build and everything. You can read this yourself if you're interested in it. But um, let's do what's uh, required for install here. So we're just going to copy this line here at the install space here. Click here and copy it. Then we're going to minimize this one. And uh, we're going to start up a terminal here. Then we're going to we're going to paste that line we copied like this. Press enter. And it seems we don't have git installed. So let's install git. sudo apt install git. And just for information, my password is password, all small letters. And we're done. So let's hit the up arrow a couple of times and see if we can find, we can actually find that because we didn't finish that command, but let's paste it again. So we got it here, press enter. And the script starts here. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to speed this up until something happens. And it does right now. So time to enter my call sign. Press OK. It says welcome. Uh, full build can take up to four hours. Blah, 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 blah. And press OK. Then it scans through the apps you might have on your unit. And this is a fresh install of Linux Mint. There might not be a lot. And here we go. And we can select which apps to install here. And you know what? I got a lot of space on this computer. So uh, let's just select them all. And you can see pretty much anything you'd want for Linux is in here. And I'm thinking most of this is useful nonetheless, if not now, at some later time. And press build it. And yeah, I don't have a GPS. 
So let's see what happens here. Okay, we're just going to choose none for GPS. And then it's your grid square. And I'm not sure if my if I remember my sec grid square, but at least not in six digits, but let's check it out. Let's just search for grid square. And we actually got a Got a uh, hit here, so um, I'm going to enter my enter where I love. And it's not that important that the map doesn't show because it's Gila to Oscar 59 Romeo Bravo. So let's go back to the script. And then your WinLink password. And to be honest, I'm not really sure this is my WinLink password, but we'll give it a go. Then your sudo password. And it starts collecting these packages and installing them. So we're just going to speed up this for you. And you know what? You don't need to see all of this, so uh, I'll be back once this is uh, fully installed. So after the installation has been running for a while, we have this Visual Basic 6.0 runtime redistribution message. So we're just going to press uh, yes on that. And the installation continues. We'll be back when something happens here. And then after a little while, we get this pop up here. Uh, where it says welcome to the Vara FM setup wizard. We're going to press next. We're going to accept the agreement. Press next. Choose the folder. Press next. And install it. And this is going to run under Wine, which is not an emulator, but it allows to run some Linux, some Windows software under Linux. And I'm going to choose not to launch the program right now because we're going to continue with the installation. Press fin finish. Then it's Vara setup wizard. We're going to do the exact same thing here. Going to install that and opt not to launch it at the moment. And as you can see now, it's asking for my uh, admin, my sudo password, my root password, as it's called in Linux. Enter that, and it'll keep going. And then we're done. It says build complete, reboot required. So uh, I'm going to reboot, and we'll be right back. And we're done rebooting now. And as you can see, we got the 73 Linux background. We got some information over here with both local and UTC time and dates. Uh, system clock frequency, uptime, uh, load on CPU memory, swap partition, hard drive. We got our IP address. And um, then we have some information about what's active and not active as of the ham radio apps installed. So let's take a quick look at the uh, apps that are here now. And um, let's just go down here and see what we can find. Uh, we got a folder called ham radio here. There we have the 73 Linux installer. Chirp, CRQ logs, dipole calculator, some donations and FAQs for 73 Linux, and a whole lot of other ham applications, such as probably what you all are looking for when doing uh, portable ops uh, hammers. We have uh, FL rig for rig control, WSJTX, uh, grid tracker, so a lot of stuff in here. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, taking a closer look to that. We're going to do that in another video. Uh, so this is it for now. But um, 
I just wanted to give you a quick look into what this Linux distro is. And technically, it's not a distro, though. It's an install script that you run on any Debian-based Linux distro. Um, as far as I know, KM4 ACK uh, recommends uh, Linux Mint, so that's what I went for. And as you saw, this went completely painless. Uh, just a matter of clicking OK, entering your password and some information a couple of times, and everything installs. So uh, this is part one of a series. Uh, next time we're going to take a look at the apps, hook up a radio, and see if we can get it to work and talk to my radio. And uh, besides that, uh, please do remember to click that like button, um, subscribe, hit that bell. Yeah, you know the drill. Also. If you want to support the channel a little bit financially, there are a couple of links down below. I have Patreon, I have YouTube memberships, I buy me a coffee. So take a look at that if you're interested in supporting my channel. That's it for now. Until next time, 7-3.